JJ the CPA here, hope you're doing well. The Restaurant Revitalization Fund is giving you dollar for dollar the amount of gross receipts that you lost in 2020 as compared to 2019 tax-free, doesn't reduce down your deductions for tax purposes. You don't have to pay it back. You've got two years to use it. You can use it for food cost, operating costs, beverage costs, payroll, rent, mortgage payments. So restaurants, bars, saloons, lounges, caterers, food trucks, bakeries, the like. This restaurant revitalization fund grant is out of this world and it just opened up. And so I want you to know one thing that the SBA on their website has put together a phenomenal resource for you. The resource is so complete. I don't know that you really need to go anywhere else. You don't need to concern yourself on whether or not you've got to bring in your professionals to interpret what the SBA has done here. And the reason I say that is the SBA, again, has gone out of its way on this webpage. I'm giving you a link directly to the SBA's website on this fund, this grant. And they have a webinar, instant access on how to go about it. They have a checklist on what you need to have. They give you examples. They have a phenomenal FAQ. They have the application and a sample application. They walk you through everything that you need to do. They are very much making this accessible to you as the restaurant food industry entrepreneur in this area for you to be able to get this. It almost doesn't sound correct. Whatever you were down for the entire year of 2020, you are going to get dollar for dollar with this grant that you're not going to pay back. It's not taxable. Anything you spend it on, you'll be able to deduct it. And you're going to be able to spend it on basically whatever it takes to run your business in this area. Yes, it is limited to $5 million. That's, that's a huge amount. It's limited to $5 million per restaurant location no more than $10 million per business. That's a real number. So if you're in this industry and in 19 you grossed 150,000, this applies to you because if in 2020 you only grossed 50,000, you're going to get $100,000. I mean, it almost sounds too good to be true that sometimes when we hear things like that, we skip over it, we glaze over it. We think, "Oh, it must not be for me." Now, a couple of quick things on that is that you're going to get all of these answers. And if you have any questions, I would just really encourage you to not look left or right or go ask somebody about it or, gee golly, I got to talk to my accountant or tax professional or CPA or EA. This is so brand new. There's not going to be an expert anywhere on this. I am helping uh, the one client that I have that's in this industry that are friends with this and through the process. And it's very exciting, but you're going to find everything you need at the SBA website. There's not an infinite amount of funds. Now, the calculation, if you don't mind, I just printed this out here for you. And uh, I'll just take up the screen here for one second. And I'm just giving you an example right here. Okay. And here's the example that I'm showing you is that if you have a business and, uh, you're in the restaurant industry, and in 2019, you grossed 500000 but then in 2020, you grossed 200000 You do have to reduce down the amount of this grant by the amount that you got in PPP 1 or 2, regardless of what year you got it. So you're going to reduce down. I'm just giving examples here, pulling these numbers purely out of the air. But here's a business right here that in 19 grossed 500,000, that's getting nearly a quarter of a million dollars as an example. You can just see, you can pause the, the screen right now if you'd like. I mean, all this is is just a math problem, real simple. It's just saying, well, for example, if 2020 and 2019 gross receipts for this, assuming that somebody got 
PPP one and two, okay, that reduces it down. Here's the amount that you can get. You know, this is huge. This is huge. I want to make sure that you know, because in the minutia, when you're comparing your gross receipts from 19 to 20, your gross receipts exclude the amount of taxes that you collected. You can use it to pay yourself as the owner as long as it's for services. You're not able to use this for expanding your business unless you are building something outside to accommodate your customers related to the COVID uh, situation. So I want to make sure that I, as I made some notes here, and this is a discussion I had with my client today. So as I'm going through it, you only apply at the SBA.gov. It's up to $5 million per restaurant location, $10 million per business. So if your business has multiple locations, it's up to $5 million per location, no more than $10 million. So if you had four restaurant locations, each of them could qualify. It's just that no more than $10 million for the business, no more than $5 million per restaurant location. You don't pay it back. It's not income. It doesn't reduce down your tax deductions. Whatever you use for business purpose, you get to tax deduct that. It's a huge double benefit. You take your gross receipts for 2019, subtract your 2020 gross receipts, subtract down whatever you got for PPP one or two, doesn't matter if you got it in 2020 or 21, and then that's the amount that you get. It's mind boggling. You have two years to use it specific. You have until May 11th, 2023. You heard it right, May 11th. 2023. So payroll, mortgage payments, rent, business debt payments, principal and interest, utility, maintenance, outdoor seating, business supplies, raw materials, food and beverage, supply costs, operating expenses. So this isn't to pay you back as an owner. It's not to make investments into other things. It's not to open another location. It's not to refinance. It's not to do anything other than go to the expenses that you have to run your business. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? No longer do you need to because this program is open. I don't want you to get discouraged in the process because when you look at this SBA website, I promise you, they walk you through step by step by step. Nothing else could matter in my opinion for our wonderful business owners, entrepreneurs, in this industry related to the restaurants and i'm just looking at the list down here food stands food trucks food carts caterers bars saloons lounges snack bars etc 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 so with that being said i hope that you will check out that website the sba website directly and if you're in this industry i hope that you take a minute and compare and you get this you don't have to pay it back. You don't have to show anything else. You don't have to file for forgiveness. You apply for the grant, you get the money. If you spend it for the operating purposes by May 11th of 2023, you don't have to pay it back. Whatever questions you have, I promise you, if you will go to the SBA website, you will find that answer. I'm telling you, I had a lot of questions about it and I found them all for my client at the SBA website. So I'm just repeating myself because I know with matters like this for small business owners and entrepreneurs, it may seem overwhelming and there's jargon and legalese and all that. I'm telling you, the SBA really has broken this down and has made it easy in terms of understanding what you need to do. Again, I'm, I know I'm repeating myself, but with samples and examples and on-demand videos and on and on and on that any question you have, I don't know how it's not answered on that web page. So how much do you make at a lunch, at a catering event? How much do you make in a week? Gross. Unless it is more than what you lost in the entire year of 2020 
compared to 2019, I don't know what's more important right now for your business. I don't know what's more important. You need to call in friends and family and get somebody watching the front business owners. You're going to have to, you know what, take a deep breath. And guess what? Maybe you're going to have to work from home instead of in the back office. Guess what? You won't hear one client or customer complaint because you're going to be at home working at this. I know that entrepreneurs and small business owners, they want to stick around the business, especially in the restaurant industry. You want to make sure everything runs right. Okay. How much is that ham sandwich going to cost you if you don't get this? You being there and wanting to make sure that ham sandwich, and I get it's your pride and joy. And I'm not being facetious and I'm not at all being coy. I'm saying though, how much does that ham sandwich gonna cost you if you just demand that you have to be there to ensure that the right amount of mustard and mayo and ham and lettuce and tomato goes on that to then watch your customer be satisfied by it. So you wanna focus in on that, that's great, but you are going to have to trust those that work for you and with you that they're going to get that ham sandwich out to that customer properly because you need to get after this. There's not an infinite amount of money here. Okay. I really could come on and almost do an infomercial for you on this, on how mind blowing this is. It is mind blowing, mind blowing. Did you lose a hundred thousand gross in 2020? You're going to get $100,000. How many ham sandwiches does that cover? Okay. So I work with restaurant owners. I work with small business owners. I'm a small business owner. I know how we think, but I'm telling you, go get that $25,000, $100,000, $1 million. Were you down three hundred grand? This gets you $300,000 tax-free. You don't have to pay it back. You have two years to use it. I mean, it's unbelievable. Hopefully, you're not listening anymore because you've gone to that website and you're already filling it out. Don't pass this up. Don't delay. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And then don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me. Have a great one.